Hey guys, welcome to the Data Tech channel. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Here we discuss about the modern data technologies. And this is the second video on Azure Synapse Analytics. And today we're going to talk about the basic concept somebody need to know before building a data pipeline in Azure Synapse Analytics. And we will also create a very simple pipeline which copy data from BigQuery to Azure SQL database. So without further ado, let's start. So these are the main concepts uh, which we need to understand. Pipeline, data sets, link service, triggers, and integration runtime. Pipeline, pipeline is basically uh, like a logical grouping of activities that we perform to get some data tasks done. So next question comes to our mind is that what is an activity? Activity is defined as actions performed on, on, our, on our data. So for example, uh, removing the duplicates, copy, filtering, those kind of activities. And uh, here are like two examples of pipeline. One is which we're going to do today is like copy the data from BigQuery to Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pool, and we'll stage that into the data lake storage gen two. And the next one is uh, uh, like another classic example where like we ingesting the data from, let's say BigQuery to Azure blob storage, and then using the uh, Snaps and a node and notebook to do the transformation and process the data and finally using that data um, in Power BI to do the reporting on top of it. And uh, Snaps workscape, Workspace can have multiple pipelines. There is no limit on that. Uh, data set. So any data set used in activities which we mentioned in the pipeline, uh, either as an input or output is known as data set. It could be of any type. Uh, for example, like a, it could be a table or it could be flat files or different types of files, folders, documents, those kind of things. And uh, a good example is, as I mentioned, table. So it could be a big query table or it could be even like Azure Snaps uh, SQL Data Warehouse table or it could be Azure SQL table. Uh, it could be a blob storage data set. Uh, link services is basically the connections which we need to uh, connect to the external resources or even internally. Uh, so it, this diagrams like explain all the activities which we discussed so far, very, it's, it's like a good presentation of that. So as I mentioned, pipeline is basically a logical grouping of activities that you can see here and like activities to run them, you need a link service and you need the data sets. So that's where you're seeing like, oh, they runs on link services and they consume and produce data sets. And um, data sets, uh, uh, which we already talked about, they will be used as input and output of an activity, which you see here, uh, consumer and producer. But for data set, also you need a link services from where, wherever you're getting the data. Triggers, triggers basically uh, determines how and when a pipeline uh, going to execute. So basically there are like th three types of triggers. One is this schedule trigger, which is like, a very classic example of uh, running a job at specific times, but here we running the whole pipeline at a specific time. So uh, we wanna run your pipeline at 6 a.m. every morning. The second is the tumbling window trigger uh, that operates on like a periodic interval and, and retain the state for each interval. And last one is the event-based where uh, like a trigger will only respond when an event happens. So for example, like you have a CSV file. So in that case, uh, so, so example is like uh, your pipeline will only trigger if you get a new CSV file from NAS drive. So that's like event based. Whenever you get the new file, your pipeline will trigger. It's not time based. And uh, pipelines and triggers can have uh, like can have many to many relationship, which means that uh, like a, a single trigger can be applied to multiple pipelines and uh, multiple triggers can apply to a single pipeline. And uh, we can also trigger pipeline on demand, which means like manually, which we will see in our, uh, our demo too. And the last concept we're gonna talk about is the integration runtime, which basically provides the compute environment for your activity and link services. So by default is, uh, so it could be two types, like one, uh, like you accessing things from like public network. So in our case, like we going to our like a Google BigQuery account and 
fetching those data. So in that case, we need the default one. And the second one is more uh, like relevant for the organizations where they have services which are running on premises or in private cloud or private networks. So without further ado, let's uh, build a simple pipeline uh, in Azure Synapse Analytics. Let's go to the, yeah. So the first step is you need to log in into your workspace and uh, then once you log in, just click on integrate. So here you will see the plus sign, which means either you can create a, so the first step is like for creating a pipeline, you can go from here or uh, they have a tool named copy data tool. So this is basically uh, like, uh, this is like a, one of the, I'll say first step for building any data pipeline. Like you need to ingest data and this tool works fine. Like when you have, when you starting a data pipeline for first time, this thing you need like probably one time or you need on schedule if you overwriting your data. But this is what we're going to do today. And don't feel like, okay, copy data tool is not pipeline as it's uh, sitting outside. No, it's a part of pipeline too. Like if you're copying anything, that is also considered as a pipeline, which we will see once this thing is done. So we'll click on this copy data pipeline. And the first thing is we need to give the name to this. So we're copying the data from BigQuery. So name will be copy BigQuery to uh, Azure SQL database. Okay, we wanna do it on schedule just for fun. You can do one time too. And let's do 8 a.m. You can pick whatever time you want. Like I'm just showing you what we can do here. And this is, yeah. In this window we have to do this and this reoccurrence means like how you want to execute this like if you want to do it every day like daily then do it like every 24 hours but you can like if you filter down this oh, sorry if you click on this you can uh, one second you can go to minutes and all those things too uh, so let's do it 24 only like you, you, reoccurrence you can do to minute like to the uh, minutes, hours, seconds, and all those kind of things. Weekly, so depending on like your requirement, you can change re reoccurrence and you can specify the end date too. We are not doing that, but click next. So next is like, we need to pick the source of our, uh, like we need to pick the linked service or the connection for our source. So in this demo, we're going to pick the Google BigQuery link services and okay as another thing if you don't know how to create a like a link service for google bigquery uh, there is another video on my channel and link will be provided in the description you can go there and see how we can create a, uh, a like a, a link service between a link service for google bigquery in azure Synapse analytics let's click on next perfect so it take like a couple of seconds to uh, load the table. So I have like two tables in my uh, BigQuery. So let's pick one. Let's do the SQL demo employee table. Click next. And if you want, like you 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 can do the uh, like a query too. But for this video, just to keep things simple, we we're not querying anything. And when I mean query, like you can go here and sorry, one second go here and click here and you can write your query but here we're doing this next uh this is like we don't want any filter because this is like a very small table like 15 or 16 records let's click on validate it will populate here won't take long to very simple like a simple and small table next so destination we want this to go our SQL database, so we'll click this, and this will come automatically. So these two, when we created our Azure Snaps uh, Analytics workspace, and uh, we created uh, like a SQL pool, you get this linked services, and this one comes as a by default with the workspace. 
because we need to create a like a Azure uh, data lake generation to storage. Next, and this will be mapping like it maps uh, a, like a column field names and all those things. So let's do that. You can see that like all things are mapped properly because sometimes what happens like your source have a different data types and and uh, then the Azure Snaps Analytics. So that's where like this mapping is a very uh, essential step. Uh, like we, as I mentioned, we're using a simple table, so we won't see those issues. But in real time or in real world, you you see these kind of problems. So next is setting here. Uh, as I mentioned, we we going to stage this too. So we'll click on here. And then they ask, okay, where do you want to stage? We want to stage it in our here. What will be the path? So this will be the path. If you don't want to stage, don't stage it. Otherwise, uh, if you want to stage it, just click on it. And you will see the visualization, like how it look once uh, we create the full pipeline and uh, allow polybase. So polybase is basically it allow um, like parallel uh, queries to run to like it, it allow parallelism basically so it can if you copying the big data sets so in that case is highly recommended but for small data sets it's not required but i'll keep it to the default then next so here you see the if by visualization you can say that it's a it's a pipeline it's a simple one but still it's a pipeline and i'll show you further how it look so this is the task name this is the pipeline name and here you see what's the connection we're using data set so let's just edit like make it more readable so source is coming from google BigQuery. just enter this to make it simple to, to make it more understandable save it and it will be stored as a this table that's okay uh oh this is the table name so and it will be saved as same name so we are okay with that in destination just make it like uh as our sql destination data set and trigger name just keep it that okay save next and you will see like it will create the data sets pipeline triggers and start the triggers if you want to monitor like you can go to the monitor too but uh it won't take long it's a small process like a small table just give it like a one more a like, couple of seconds see it's done if you want to monitor we can do that we can add it to that but we will finish it click on finish see uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, like it looked like copy data is something else, but it is part of the data pipeline. And you can see here is your data. So if you click on this, you will see your data pipeline. So this is your data pipeline. And if you click on this, this is the activity. So everything is defined, but this is the name of the activity. If you want to rename, you can do that too. And uh, now look at the data set if we go there this is our data sets are there this is the is our destination data sets google big uh big query source data set and we haven't ran it yet because like i put it 8 a.m something so you won't see the table here like if you expand this there is no table uh so if we go on trigger and click on trigger now you will see that but before that i want to show you if you go in manage you will you should be able to like in manage click on trigger you'll be able to see your trigger too and the integration runtime this is like as i mentioned we because we using the public networks that's where like the by default will work but if you are in your organization or somewhere else uh, you, you should use your own integration runtime okay so let's go to the pipeline and run it you can do click on trigger now so this is a warning just uh, ignore it like this is just saying like we haven't published the configurations but don't worry about it 
So it's running. Uh, well, in fact, if we go and monitor. So it's still running. We give it like a couple of seconds to finish. Like sometimes it takes time, but generally it's fast. It depends on like uh, how, what's the workload and all those factors. But it should not take long. It's, it seems like it's done. If you go here in data, see, bam, you can see your table now. So uh, that's that's pretty much for this today's video. And uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe it. And uh, don't forget to check my other video on how to create link services for Google BigQuery. Thank you. And the next video will be like we will create a like a big more complex. Uh, I want to say complex, like a more advanced pipeline. And till that time, be safe. Thank you. Have a good one.